Hello there! Welcome back to Abandoned Anomalies, the series where I talk about some of my favorite abandoned or defunct places. Today we're talking about the Sunrise Mall in Corpus Christi, Texas. I was traversing the world of Reddit the other day, looking for inspiration on the subreddit r slash abandoned retail, and this place caught my eye, so I decided to dig in and do some research on it. What particularly caught my interest was the fact that it is in Corpus Christi, which happens to be the hometown of former Tejano singer Selena Quintanilla, so we've got a little side narrative to talk about first. Selena was a wildly talented and beautiful Mexican-American singer who started performing with her siblings and her father in their band Selena y Los Dinos when she was a child. She eventually rose to fame in the early 1990s, but unfortunately her life met an untimely end just before her 24th birthday in 1995 when she was shot in the back by the president of her fan club, Yolanda Salvador, in room 158 of the Days Inn in Corpus Christi. This hotel still remains, but room 158 has been renamed room 150 due to this history. But also in Corpus Christi lies the abandoned place we will be discussing today, what was once the Sunrise Mall. The Sunrise Mall began construction in November of 1979 and ultimately took 15 months to complete, finally opening to the public in February of 1980. It was in close proximity to another shopping center, the Padre Staples Mall, which is now called La Palmera. At this time, the Sunrise Mall featured Ajoskis, Frost Bros, and Sears as its anchor stores. Despite being merely 1,000 feet from the Padre Staples Mall, the Sunrise Mall actually fared very well in its beginning years. It competed well with the other mall, and many retailers opened duplicate stores in the Sunrise Mall without any issues. The Sunrise Mall happened to be the filming location for the movie The Legend of Billie Jean in 1985, which contributed to its success in the 80s. And since this mall was in operation during the years Selena lived in Corpus Christi, I wonder if she ever visited this mall. I mean, probably, right? It's something cool to think about. But. The mall was renovated in 1987, and another anchor store was added, Mervyn's, as well as a movie theater, a nautical-themed food court called the Food Port, and two parking garages. However, the Sunrise Mall faced its first difficulty when Dillard's bought Joskies, and since they already had a location at the Padre Staples Mall, they decided to close the Sunrise Mall location. This left Sunrise Mall with one less anchor store and a disadvantage in comparison to the neighboring Padre Staples Mall. Montgomery Ward later filled this vacancy, although that wouldn't last long. In the following years, Sunrise Mall only faced more difficulties. Frost Bros closed their Corpus Christi location due to financial reasons in 1988, Montgomery Ward went out of business in 2000, and Mervyn's followed suit in 2008. The more stores Sunrise Mall lost, the more difficulty they were having in finding new retailers to fill these spaces, as it became more and more difficult to justify having two major malls in such close proximity to each other with such similar stores. As the years went by, Sunrise Mall became a virtually dead mall, with only a few businesses operating. By 2018, the food court was reduced to one open restaurant, the escalators stopped operating, and the movie theater closed as well. By 2019, the mall portion of the building was officially closed to the public, leaving only a Planet Fitness, Freedom Fitness, and New Life Church on its premises. On October 3, 2022, the owner of the mall officially filed for bankruptcy and the Sunrise Mall was no more. Since then, the building complex has been a state of abandonment and many areas of the building have been neglected for years. There have been many accounts of vandalism happening in the mall, such as these photos I found in the original Reddit post where I discovered the mall. I've also come across a recent news clip about these issues and other safety violations surrounding the dead mall. So before I play the clip, I just want to say thanks for watching and have a great day. Code enforcement posted a health and safety notice on the old Sunrise Mall. It says the building is unsafe and unfit to enter. Our Michaela Chavez explains what this means and if it will affect the popular businesses attached to the mall. This is the third notice that the Sunrise Mall has received from code enforcement. But this one is a health and safety notice. Now, code enforcement tells me that they found a lot of vandalism, but that's not all they found. There's a lot of broken glass everywhere. The walls, they're getting into the walls, trying to steal what, what, anything of value, right? You know, so um, like wiring. Gutierrez says code enforcement received several anonymous calls regarding the vandalism and checked it out. Uh, we went out there Tuesday, uh, May the 2nd to investigate. The placard was left at that same time. Notice actually went out to the property owner yesterday. The notice is meant to keep people out of the building, but it doesn't specify when the property owner needs to address the repairs needed to keep vandals out. Meanwhile, the property owner is running out of time to deal with other issues at the abandoned mall. 
We do have previous cases on the Sunrise Mall, and that is for the litter and solid waste, the, um, the high weeds that are on the surrounding perimeter of the Sunrise Mall. The city issued two other notices on Friday, April 28th. One notice gave them a week to clean their trash and weeds. The other gave them two weeks to secure their property. With one deadline looming tomorrow, it appears those issues haven't been addressed. If they're not, the owner of the mall will be fined up to $2,000. Meanwhile, code enforcement has notified the businesses attached to the Sunrise Mall about the health and safety notices that were issued. Many of those businesses told me the issues the mall is facing do not affect their facilities. Reporting from Corpus Christi, Michaela Chavez, Chris